good morning everyone hope everyone is are fit and fine so i was telling you about in last lecture uh, about e plane t are you able to hear my voice and able to see my screen everyone one of you respond then i will start yes madam okay thank you so let me start so i was telling you about one of the microwave junction e plane t okay so what is microwave junction and what is the use so these microwave junctions are used for making microwave network if you want to connect to one or more devices in a network then you will use microwave junction so these junction that i am going to tell are used for interconnecting two or more microwave devices okay so how many types are there i am listing e plane h plane magic hybrid ring directional coupler circulator circulator is also uh, you can use for uh, for the networking as a interconnect so these are some uh, figures i am showing so first one you identify with what what it is just identify what it is first one these names i told you e plane h plane magic t hybrid directional coupler circulator 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 main uh, waveguide t's are available in the market so i am showing you the schematic diagram as well as the uh, the real uh, uh, component so just to identify because i didn't wrote any name here so just you identify what is this this first one it is already written here so if you are able to see you can easily say it is e plane e plane t this one is h plane just you see here the thing is the third third port you always remember it is extended from the broader side of the waveguide so this is the waveguide and from the broader side this is broader side your third port or third waveguide is connected so you see and here you see that third port is connected to the shorter side shorter side so this is the waveguide main waveguide and in that you are connecting the another uh, waveguide in the shorter side okay so this is h plane t e plane t what i said it is a voltage network it is a e h plane t is a current network okay and this one is magic t so magic t you see here it is com it is it is the uh, combined form of h plane and e e plane so both you see broader side as well as shorter side you have uh, waveguide uh, uh, to you can connect uh, to uh, three uh, three devices at a time so it is it consist of e arm h arm so it is also known as e plane h plane t so this is the figure of uh, this one just to identify what is this it is hybrid ring it is hybrid ring 
so you see at particular distance your ports are uh, made so various ports are there port 1 2 3 4 but you see there are a specific fixed distance so this is uh, known as hybrid ring or you can say rat race circuit so this is the actual circuit this one is your directional coupler so this is the actual figure, figure. you see there is a uh, primary waveguide and there is a secondary waveguide these two waveguide are connected with the hole so inside this junction you see these two waveguides are connected inside they they have the common wall so you see this is the common wall of the two waveguide in that there may be hole okay so this is the one type of directional coupler schematic i am showing here last one is your circulator so here i am showing you the three port circulator the the schematic and this is the real circulator so in in figure i am showing the circle shape but in it real in real it is a you see uh, the cube shape cuboidal shape okay so three ports are there so what are the application of uh, waveguide t's uh, three port t's you can use for power dividing or power combining okay power division or power split splitting if you want to do so you can use three port t's magic t you can use for a high isolation another use is balanced mixture operation and it can be made of aluminum with chromate conversion finish and paint that is used is gray epoxy enamel these are some in, uh, specification i am showing you here bswr bswr power split phase valence hybrid isolation these type of specification you will get or you have to give to the vendor if you want to buy any waveguide t so e plane t i was discussing e plane t i was discussing so that i will continue i was telling you to discuss the the properties of the e plane t so i will continue with the s matrix so just to see it very carefully because same procedure you will apply for the h plane t so what is the uh, what are the properties uh, you will use to write the e plane t so i am again writing you know that first property as i said first property first property it was i am i, I was assume that matched port 3 matched port 3 matched port 3 so what does this mean in s matrix uh, term it it means that s33 is equal to zero so if i am saying that matched port 3 then i will say s33 equal to zero second property i am as, uh, writing here you know that port 1 and port 3 port 2 outputs were outputs were one uh, outputs are 180 degree phase difference you know so on that basis i can i can uh, write parameter s1 s13 equal to minus s23 means it doesn't mean that your s23 will always minus it depend it, it dip, you can also say s23 equal to minus s3 s13 it is same thing only the thing you need to always remember that these two uh, parameters will always opposite to each other so this is the same thing only the thing is 
whenever you will write s23 if suppose you are taking positive sign so you will give negative sign to the s13 or if you are taking positive sign for the s13 then you will take negative sign for the s23 third property i am saying that if suppose it is symmetric symmetric port symmetry property if i am applying on that basis i can write what is symmetry property sij is equal to sji so in that basis i can write s13 s31 s23 s32 and what what is left s12 equal to s21 okay so this is the symmetry property i am writing here next property i told you okay whatever the property i wrote here let me write the matrix my matrix is now s11 s12 s13 s21 as i said uh, s21 is now s12 because i said in the this third property that s21 is equal to s21 sorry s21 is equal to s12 so i am writing s21 as s12 okay so you see how i am writing matrix s22 S two three is equal to just see the property I uh, wrote uh, number two S two three equal to minus S one three. So here I am now replacing S two three as minus S one three. S three three, S three sorry S three one is equal to S one three. So I am writing S one three. And S three two is equal to S two three. And S two three is equal to minus S one three. Okay. And S three three first uh, uh, property I wrote here is zero. So this is the S matrix I found when I applied these three rules. Okay. Okay. So note down this. Then then apply unitary property. Unitary property. So fourth I am applying unitary property. What is unitary property? So I am telling you the matrix. Just you do it. i will ask you is equal to identity matrix okay so you write this matrix and write its conjugate and tell me the r1 c1 r1 means row row 1 column 1 okay row 2 column 2 r3 c3 r3 c1 everyone you please note down so what i am telling to apply this identity matrix or unitary matrix is s matrix and its conjugate its product is always equal to i i is identity matrix you just write it so i am adding here this property so i am writing this is my s this total is my s now i am writing s conjugate so s conjugate means whatever be the matrix i wrote here just i am put i am putting conjugate here star so as your s matrix are the complex number so you can take the conjugate so you come you solve it and then tell me the uh, the equations so that i am writing writing equal to identity matrix what is identity matrix it is 3 cross 3 identity matrix where your diagonal elements are one and rest elements are zero okay now now you see what is r1 c1 r1 c1 means r1 c1 means this is your take the row 1 and column 1 so this is i am taking row and this is i am taking column just tell me what is r1 c1 and you know that s s conjugate what is this it is mod s square okay so whenever i will mod of s square ha ah, so what what i will do now i am multiplying so s11 s11 conjugate what is it s11 square 
ओके नेक्स्ट इज एस वन टू स्क्वायर हाँ स्क्वायर सॉरी प्लस एस वन थ्री स्क्वायर इक्वल टू व्हाट इज दिस इट इज दिस इक्वल टू वन सो दिस इज माय इक्वेशन नंबर वन लेट से नेक्स्ट सेकेंड आर टू सी टू सो व्हाट इज आर टू सी टू सो दिस इज माय आर टू स्क्वायर What is next? As one three square equal to what? It is, it is equal to one. This is my second equation. Okay. Next is R three three three. So what is R three three three? You please do it because in the next uh, all these component you need to apply the same things. So I am not going to explain all every time procedure. Just you see it here. I will ask you later. I will ask you to do it by yourself only. So R three C three. I am writing this is S one three square. This is S one three square equal to one. So this is my equation number three. R three C one. So what is R three C one? R three C one. R three this. And C one is this. So do multiplication. So this is S one three, and this is S one one conjugate. Plus now you cannot write mod because it is not same. So this is minus S one three, and next is S one two conjugate plus zero, equal to what? It is equal to zero. Okay. So now you see equation number four. Now you sorry equation number three. So equation number three, you see that this is s one three, this is s one three. So you can write it as two s one three whole square were equal to one. So s one three, what you will get? If you solve it, what will you get? One by root two. ओके वन बाय रूट टू नाउ सॉल्व इक्वेशन नंबर वन और इक्वेशन नंबर टू टेल मी व्हाट विल यू गेट सो इक्वेशन नंबर वन एंड इक्वेशन नंबर टू इट विल गिव अस equation number 1 and 2 we get, we will get s11 equal to s22 Now see equation number three, uh, four. From equation number 
four. What will you get? S one three. I am taking common. You will get S one one conjugate minus S one two conjugate equals to zero. Or you can write, uh, you know, S one one equal to S one two or equal to S two two. So note it down. I am uh, shifting to new page. So note this equation. I will ask you. I will shift to the new page. Just note down and tell me once you completed. Okay, completed. So this I am writing last equation number. Uh, I am giving the number number. Devendra, you please take a screenshot. The so last equation number uh, equation numbering I am doing. Just you please tell me the uh, numbers. Okay, L later I will ask you. So this is I am writing five. And this is I am writing six, and this value remember S one three is equal to one by root two. Okay. Completed. S one. Okay. Now I am shifting to next. Now you tell me uh, what was the first equation? It was S one one. I remember S one one square plus S one two square plus S one three square. Equal to one, है ना? Now I am taking these two equation, this one and last one I wrote s one one equals to s one two equal to s two two. Okay, so this I wrote. So you see this one s one one I am taking, and as I said this s one one is equal to s one two, so I am replacing this with the s one one, and this value s one three I calculated it was one by root two, equal to one. So what you will get from this simplification? You will get two uh, s one square equals to one minus one by root two. Oh, sorry. This is s one three square. So this will be square. So this will be square means one by two. So one one is one by two is one by two. So what will you get? S one one equals to What will you get? S one one equal to one by two. One by two. Okay, so this is the solution. S one three. Now I found S one one. I found. So now from the uh, our matrix, we can write what was our matrix. Just to tell me, S. Yes. It was S one one, S one two, S one three, S two one. I was writing S. S two one was equals to S one two. S one two, S two one was equal to S one two, and it is S two two. It is S one three minus S minus S one three. This is S one three. This is minus S one three. This was zero. So now I uh, I know the value of S one one. So I will replace S one three. I replace S one one. S one one is equal to S one two. So I can replace it, right? So now I am writing the final final values. Uh, my at s matrix for my e plenty i am writing because now i know the value s11 is my 11 1 by 2 as s11 is equal to s2 s12 you see so this relation i i will write 1 by 2 s1 by 3 is sorry s13 is 1 by root 
this is 1 by 2 this is 1 by 2 this is minus 1 by root 2 this is 1 by root 2 this is 1 by root 2 and this is 0 so this is my s matrix for the for the e plane t s matrix for the e plane t so what this s matrix is actually it is output if suppose i am writing output matrix as b s matrix and a a is my input okay so if i am writing in that if i want to uh, re relate the the values or i want to see values of a b so a b you can write it is as there are three codes so you can write b1 b2 b3 and it is equal to this or a i am writing a1 a2 a3 so a1 is the incident incident wave at port 1 b1 is the output wave at port 1 so like this you just note it i am saving it otherwise it may go on okay so now you can see what is b1 here if just to solve the matrix solve the matrix multiply with this and equate with the b1 so what do you will get here b1 equal to a1 by 2 plus a2 by 2 plus a3 by root 2 you know? Just I am taking this this column and this row, taking the product, equating with the this left hand side. So it is equal to B one. So like this, I will continue. Devendra, take a screenshot. So I am writing fast just to note down. Okay. So what I am doing, everyone understanding what I am doing? I am taking the this row. I am taking column. I am taking product. So this I am multiplying with this. This I am multiplying with this. This I am multiplying with this. Okay. Similarly, I am taking this next, and then I am multiplying with this, and then I equating with the B two, and next B three. So B three you will get A one by root 2 minus a2 by root 2. So now I am taking case. So case 1 I am taking. Case 1 I am taking. What is case I am taking is I am applying input at some port. So if suppose I am not applying input at port 1 and 2. So that what does this mean mathematically? What does this mean mathematically if I am applying uh, input at port 3? That means A3 is not equal to 0. Port 1 and port 2, no, in, no input. So A1 is 0, A2 is 0. So this is the case one I am writing. So I am taking A1, 0, A2, 0, A3, 0. A3 not equal to 0. So just to apply this, what is V1? What is V2? Just to apply these values in these three equations. So what is B1? A1, 0, A2, 0. So what is B1? It is A3 by root 2. 3 what, by root 2. What is B2? It is minus A3 by root 2. What is B3? It is 0. So you see what it is showing mathematically. B1 and B2. What is B1 and B2? B1 and B2 are the output at port 1 and port 2, right? So what you are... Uh, 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 what you found here in the mathematics in mathematical equation, the magnitude of B1 and B2 are same but opposite sign. So what it is actually showing that if suppose you are applying input at port 3, it is equally dividing. It is equally dividing because this is the magnitude, this is the magnitude, same magnitude. It is equally dividing between port 1 and port 2. Okay, but it is introducing 180 degree phase shift. So this is this is called as it is one by root two. That is why it is called. It is proving that it is three dB. It is acting as three dB splitter. 
power splitter okay as i said the application of this these are to combine the power or to split the power so you see if you are applying input at port 3 in e plane t it is now acting as 3 dv power splitter why it is 3 dv power splitter because you see the power whatever be the power you are applying it is 1 by root 2 that's why it is 3 dv splitter now consider the case 3 uh, case 2 sorry now 5 6 minutes are left that's why i am going fast so just you understand what is case 2 and just you solve the equations case 2 is let's say a1 a2 equals to a not anyone can tell me what it is in a physical way what i am writing if i am keeping a3 equal to 0 means no input we are not applying any input at three port we are applying input at a uh, one port and two port two and it, they are same they are same equal to a okay so what did will be uh, the output at uh, port 1 port 2 port 3 so if you will so, uh, solve again you will apply the value a1 a2 or a so it will become a by 2 a3 is 0 so third will be 0 what is b2 b2 again it is a by 2 what is b3 it is equal to how much b3 equal to tell a a1 is a a2 is a so it is equal and opposite so it is zero so what it is actually telling you mathematically or uh, means physically b1 that means output at port 1 b2 output at port 2 are same and are in same phase and the the output at port 3 is zero what it means it means if you are applying equal input at port 1 and port 2 it results no output at port 3 okay it results no output at port 3 note down this b1 equals to a madam it's not a by 2 equals to oh oh okay a by 2 no okay a and what is b2 b it is again a okay okay man uh, okay thank you uh, for correction it is because this is 1 by 2 this is 1 by 2 it will become a it will become 1 so it means if you are applying if say equal input at port 1 and port 2 so i am writing the conclusion it results no output at port 3 so this is the conclusion of the case 2 now case 3 case 3 is i am taking now i am applying a1 input at a1 uh, port 1 and i am not applying any input at port 2 not applying any input at port 3 what will result now you just tell me what is b1 now apply the value whatever be the uh, assumption i am taking so if i am taking a1 equal to uh, it is equal to uh, not equal to 0 and rest are 0 that means b1 is equal to a1 by b2 equals to let me change the color so b2 equal to um, a1 by 2 and b3 equal to a1 by root 2 so what does this mean this is what it is saying to us it is a1 by 2 it is a1 by 2 so in this case if you are applying input at port 1 it is uh, it is combining power so you see you will have the output at port 1 you will have the output at port 2 it is same and you will also have the output at port 3 so all ports are showing output so so you can see that if you are applying now uh, just you can take case 4 so similar thing you will get case 4 also you can take a2 is not equal to 0 a1 0 a2 a3 0 sorry a3 0 so like this you can write case 4 okay so uh, from this calculation you can get what uh, you can select the ports 
to apply input and you can observe the output in the next rest port am i clear so this is the calculation how much power we will get at the output if we are applying input at one port or two ports so resultant you will get in the uh, uh, in each port you take uh, this this is a difference in e plane t h plane t in e plane t it was 180 degree out of phase that's why i was writing s13 equal to minus s2 s23 but in case of h plane t it is s13 equal to s23 so all of you please uh, do the same process do the same process what i did for e plane t 